Get the new perk posters and retro t-shirts today for a limited time. Hi everybody and welcome to part 2 of my video discussing Nikolai's possible role in breaking the cycle. Check out the first part, linked in the description, to catch up to speed on the topic, if you're interested. Now, I was researching the lore in quotes for part 1. I found a new theme emerging for Nikolai during my research. His distrust and hatred for Richthofen grew with every map until Revelations. This is very important because we know the crew is stuck in Blood of the Dead is the Primus crew just after Takio killed his 1.0 self. The timing is perfect to set up conflict because Nikolai is about to be at his absolute worst toward Richtofen. Nikolai will not have the opportunity to go along with things in Revelations now that he is stuck with Richtofen in Purgatory. The summoning key will contain it. Keep it safe. For what purpose? I have yet to hear you explain what you plan to do when you have our souls, but I have heard little wisdom. Richtofen's goals are still unknown. We are bound together only by convenience. Personal contempt aside, I think it is unwise to underestimate the German. He has knowledge of realms beyond our understanding. I believe that Richtofen will betray us again. Mark my words. It is his nature. At this point, Nikolai is trying to find any way back to his family, to his home, to his past. His exile, grief, and failure still plague Nikolai with depression and anger. Commenters pointed out to me that during the Gorod Krovi Easter egg, his experience is a major milestone. He accepts that the past can't be changed. He finally faces what he was trying to avoid the whole time and moves on. Nikolai finally gives up on his past and looks forward to his future. Listening to the quotes through the maps gave me so much more meaning into Nikolai than I originally realized, in addition to your wonderful analysis of the character on the previous video. You and the German were once sworn enemies, Nikolai. Are you beginning to see his goals as though they are your own? Ours is an alliance of convenience, Takio. I still despise the German with every fiber of my being. You must have a strong reason to ally with the German. I sense a longing in your soul. A longing for something beyond your reach. I may have dreams, Takio, but I know they are not reality. My life is only war. It is all I know. Do not question me any further, Takio. My thoughts and my past are mine, and mine alone. I have little interest in your secrets, Nikolai. Unless they are the kind that put our alliance at risk. And when that day comes, what kind of man will you be, Nikolai? I will fight until there are no more battles to be won. When all this madness ends, I will still be the man I always was. A loyal servant of Mother Russia. Richtofen may have confidence in his plans, but none of us can truly know the nature of our own destiny, Nikolai. He talks of fighting war after war and the sole hope of returning to his family, to his loved ones. The achievement, love, and war fits Nikolai's character in a new perfect way that I never realized. Even the names of the fractured universes give players insight into our characters and what they're going through. Agonia is Gorod Crowley's fracture, which is Latin for agony, death struggle. All the fractures' names are Latin words that describe the trials of our Primus crew. All of Nikolai's pain is boiling over after we see Takio die because he believes Richtofen is going to betray them again. Now cut to Blood of the Dead. Richtofen has screwed up royally. They are all trapped in purgatory because of his plan. What happens to the team now? What happens if Richtofen tries to maintain control he always refuses to relinquish? What if Richtofen tries to pass it off as a minor setback? That we we need to trust him. This would set the crew up to turn on Richtofen because Nikolai has been planting the seeds of doubt in our characters since the giant. Both Takio and Dempsey are vulnerable after killing their counterpart selves. They could be swayed that it was for nothing by Nikolai. That Nikolai was right all along. This could lead to a parallel between Mob of the Dead and Blood of the Dead, where Primus has a shootout with Richtofen. By killing Richtofen, they may cause a new fracture or even change the cycle. This could be the meaning behind Ultimus Richtofen joining Primus when they go to the house in the comic book loading screen. Possibly, Primus without Richtofen captures Ultimus Richtofen in the giant cutscene because there is no Richtofen to kill him off. Maybe. 
They travel directly to the house to confront Monty and their eternal souls. A whole new world of speculation is opened up thanks to Nikolai's rage. This explanation plays well into Richthofen's character flaws. His inability to let others in on what he is doing could be his miscalculation on the crew turning on him. Maybe we would even have to battle Vigdis if Richthofen flees and wakes them from their slumber during a possible turn. We could have an extremely dark ending to our favorite characters in this messed up fractured universe. The intro to the giant could have new meaning when they say, Damn it, Richthofen, I thought we were done with this! What can I say, Dempsey? Things change. <laughs> Only a fool would dare to change history. I am no fool. What I do, I do only to secure a better tomorrow. Meaning, I thought we weren't going to kill him. I thought we were going to wake our other selves, etc. Without Richtofen to kill Ultimus, this could be the break in the cycle we are looking for. Nikolai explains in the giant radios that he has killed many Richtofens. This is not all bad news, Nikolai. We may have failed in our mission, but at least there is now one less Richtofen to deal with. If it is any consolation, tell him that the first one is the hardest. I should know. I've killed at least three Richtofens. There was the one in the fire. One with the bolt hook, and the one... What? No one told me. Sorry. Forget what I just said. Everything will be fine. He could have been describing engagements inside Blood of the Dead. However, I, I think those suggestions are unlikely. I thought it would be a value, though, to suggest those points of views nonetheless. In summary, Nikolai is well positioned to convince the crew to turn on Richtofen, based on his quotes in Black Ops 3. Richtofen's major character flaws play perfectly into pushing the characters against him during a time desperation. The comic book loading screen reinforces that Primus crew will turn on Richtofen. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the subject. Do you believe our characters will fall apart despite the teamwork demonstrated in the Blood of the Dead intro? Is it more likely for our characters to fall apart than come together among the challenges of Mob of the Dead? I know I would prefer them to finally work together as a team, but their personalities are not lining up if the quotes line up like I think they do. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any interest in picking up merchandise, Friday, August 3rd is your last day to do so. We are sold out of the medium shirts at the moment. There are less than five XLs left and five large t-shirts available in either of the bundles or the single purchases for the t-shirts. The posters are well in stock until tomorrow at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can't be more grateful for your support on my merchandise. It allows me not to deal with shady sponsors or clog up your time at my videos. I just want to give you a little update here. All t-shirts will be sent out as soon as I receive my order from my printer. Tomorrow I will be playing the Black Ops 4 beta with anyone in my Discord. We are close to having a thousand members. Join our community if you want a game with me tomorrow from 1 p.m. Eastern to about 5 p.m. Eastern if you're interested. Every two or so games mod will rotate you in and out of the lobbies and if there's not many people I'll just keep gaming with the same people over and over again. It should be a blast. If you're ever curious on what is coming out or when things are coming out for my content be sure to check out my new website's content calendar. You can see my previous work, current work, or upcoming projects. It's a great way to know when are you streaming next rad or when the next video is coming. Thanks for sticking around through the quick updates. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.